Hey buddies, it's SK here. Hope everybody's great. I've been on holiday for two weeks. Before that I was sick. Again. And between those things I've been playing a lot of Dragon Ball Xenoverse and Dungeon Fighter Online. Both games are awesome in my opinion, especially Dungeon Fighter Online because I've been waiting years to play that game and finally I have the chance to do it. However, both of them are pretty repetitive so I wasn't sure how to present those to you as entertaining videos to watch. That's why there's been no real content because I haven't really thought of a way to make those entertaining for you. Though please, if you haven't already, be sure to follow the Twitch page that I have listed on my front page, also I have it in the description, because a lot of times when I do play, I stream it, so if that's something that interests you at all, you can join in and see what's going on. Going back to Dragon Ball Xenoverse though, I've been considering doing a story playthrough for YouTube and a parallel quest playthrough for YouTube, however, this is, st this is still a thought in my head, I might not do it, but if I am going to do it, maybe I should get you guys involved and start a poll where I ask you guys what kind of class of the character should I be? Should I be Saiyan, Namekian, Majin, Human, whichever you guys would rather see? Talk to me in the comments guys, let me know what you think of that idea and I can change what I'm doing based on that. So what can you expect next on the channel? Well the good news is the next fun and shit video has started production and huh? Plans cancelled! New Castlevania game! Oh my god! Wait. Actually no it's not a Castlevania game. Much as it looks like a Castlevania game, Konami still owns the Castlevania license. And sadly Holy shit, what the hell happened? Oh my god! <laughs> oh. oh no. You know what this means, right? Basically, Konami has no interest in video games anymore. Outside of, oh I don't know, quick money grabs like phone game shit, slot machines and pachinko. So basically, it, Konami is turning to a piece of shit Similar to, hmm, just to who I can remember, EA, Sega, and maybe to a less extent Capcom? So they still own all these IPs of characters and game ideas, and they're probably going to do bugger all with them, except maybe slap them on a f cell phone game, or a slot machine, and oh my god, Th this, this is a bad time. Either that, or they'll do something even worse, which is do nothing with these characters at all. And all because what? They're afraid to take a risk or try something a bit different from the crowd because video games are turning a bit like pop music? Really now? Are you the same Konami I remember as a kid? Because I doubt it very much. But you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll humor you. I'll humor you. This game, Bloodstained, is a Kickstarter. So, okay, if this is such a bad idea, let's take a little look at how much money they've raised from people donating money, shall we? <gasps> okay. So, now comes the next question, Konami. Does 500k in pledges in less than four motherfucking hours, which has more than tripled in less than three days, seem like an old-fashioned, unprofitable, uncool game to you? Because if you think that, you haven't a goddamn clue what you're doing anymore. And the game developers of this world are better off without you. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Bye-bye. See you later. My advice to anyone dealing with products by this company that they release in the future is tread carefully. Especially if it has an IP you love, like say Castlevania, Bomberman, Bloody Roar, or Metal Gear Solid. Oh god, let's not even think about what could happen to Metal Gear Solid. Tread carefully seeing what new products they release next, because there's a good chance they're going to be trying to pass off half-assed content in the form of one of those things I said earlier. And if it is one of those things, you should boycott it and not give them any money. Don't reward them for shit, because that is what they want. Speak with your wallets. That is all I ask. But 
enough talking about how Konami is Konami and a Konami is apparently shit now. If you're interested in their content, go back and play any of their old classic games. I highly recommend them. And now let's move on to the happy, positive stuff, shall we? The person organising the Kickstarter project for Bloodstain is Koji Igarashi, who left Konami about a year ago now, I believe. He is leading this Kickstarter project for Bloodstained, and he has worked on, hmm, how many Castlevania games? Yeah, this guy is kind of a big deal. He pretty much revived the series from the PlayStation era onwards. While I have not played every Castlevania game, I can safely say I've played enough to have a good grasp of the series, the lore, and most of the mechanics of the games. In fact, most of the games I did play, I played during one of the most depressed periods of my life, and I feel they have had a positive impact on me the same way it's had on countless other people and inspired them to create their own characters and things in the industry. Hell, there are countless, 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 countless Metroidvania games. Just Google it. Just Google the phrase Metroidvania. There are countless games inspired by Castlevania. There was a series reboot which was just kind of meh as far as I know. Maybe I'll try it one day and cry, probably. But the last true to the originals game that came out in the series was Harmony of Despair, which was oh my god, fan servicey as hell. Characters everywhere that you love, and all together, and the six players, and the. But once you got past the initial excitement, it wasn't really that good a game. For other fans of Konami, they've been disappointed in the company for years because of what they did to Silent Hill, but for me, I knew something was up when I realised on Harmony of Despair that they just didn't seem to care. Everything about the game just seemed rushed and they didn't seem to have interest in being accurate or anything with their own lore. Harmony of Despair is, honestly at this point, very likely the swan song of the series. Lords of Shadow? Who gives a shit? It's, it has almost nothing to do with everything, it was just kind of a failed reboot. But with this new Bloodstained game around the corner, I've got quite a bit of hype, I can't lie. It's hype, like the feeling I had when I first got into the series, that's the only thing I can think of comparing it to. You can bet your ass I'm donating to this Kickstarter, because I want this to happen, because it has no reason it shouldn't happen. But as an added tribute, I'm going to be doing some streaming and content in general to do with Castlevania. Not because of the company who owns it though, hmm, yes, yes, screw them, no. It's more to do with all the great people who made those games possible, and kind of my little tribute to them. Plus loads of people are doing it, but I want to do my own little spin on it, because why the hell not? I am going to be streaming Order of Ecclesia, because it is the last proper Metroidvania they ever made. And some of you are probably thinking, why Order of Ecclesia? Well, number one, because it's underrated. I mean, come on, you like these characters, but you don't like these characters? I, I, I don't understand, please explain. Especially Gary Stu Soma over here, he doesn't even look like they finished coloring him in. Number two, because it's the last true Metroidvania game Konami ever made. Number three, this guy. Ah! And number four, look at the art styles on these two games. It seems to me someone wasn't happy with Order of Ecclesia and they wanted to give it another shot. Though obviously they can't use the same characters because copyrights, intellectual properties, yada yada yada. So I would be very curious to see how much these two games have in common. So. Why not do a refresher beforehand to prepare myself? I also have a playthrough of the original Castlevania I did a while ago, which kind of went a bit hit and miss, but just because of the occasion, I'm going to try and salvage that footage and try and put the highlights of that on YouTube as well, just as an extra tribute because it's the first game. Without that, we wouldn't have the series, so why not? If you enjoy those playthroughs, then I'll do more in the future. You, ju you guys just gotta let me know. That's all you gotta do. So to clarify what I'm doing, 
Castlevania 1 playthrough that will be on YouTube as soon as I'm able to get the footage together in a way that makes sense because it's all over the place at the moment and these coming weekends I will be streaming all of Ecclesia live and that will probably end up on YouTube also if all things go well if you want to be notified about that again just a little reminder follow Facebook Twitter and the Twitch page of course. If you subscribe to that you should be told even quicker than the other two methods when I'm streaming the game. So I hope you will join me, I hope you will support this Kickstarter if it interests you, I hope you will give Konami shit but don't don't send them abusive messages. No. First of all that's harassment and secondly because Except for the poor guy who has to read the messages, that isn't attacking the people that you need to be going for. Nope, if they release crap products in the future, I remind you again, don't buy them, don't give them any money. That is how you send companies a message. That is the message they will listen to. Thank you, and this is SK saying, Good morning, good evening, good night, and good day, wherever you are in the world. Bye for now, and I still need a new goodbye catchphrase. Ah!